lies one day at a time. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. They're here to get your day going fine. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. And here's your host, Miss Kim. Shout out D on the track, Paint Music Media. Shout out DJ Lee Productions, and I'm Al Ken. But if you a game changer, got my yeah, head yeah. To the past, ain't nothing left to give it that reverence that the father gets. So every day I work the sweat, can get a flesh another rest. They say go hard or go home. I say just do whatever's best. It's evident I'm blessed and I work like it. Fight, fight like a Viking. Fight, fight like a lichen. The difference is I like it, so I shine like I'm lightning. So I'm going head to head with certain depth. Who you like it? <laughs> yeah. So it's time for coach to put me in. I'm strapping on my shoulder pads. Lacing up my cleats and then I'm gone with the wind. Like I'm gone in 60 seconds. You can't hold me. You can't check me. Check the memo. Check the message running through. Like, like, like I'm bad as I'm trucking. Whoever standing in my way. Hey, hey, no way you gon' stop me. You better off to let me in. Cause I go hard even though they say no way that I could win. Like I'm Brett Ford. I'ma ride this way. My head is A lot of people out 
people out there working hard. And I keep doing these series every Monday. And for me, when you look at everything that I'm putting out there for people as far as the real estate, his business, his finance, estate planning, all that information to me, when you sum it up, it boils down to financial freedom. That's what it comes down to. That's it. Financial freedom. Everything clumped together is financial freedom. That's what we're going for. So we do this call every Monday. This is Charles's Corner. I'm looking at the budgeting piece, wealth management, really unlocking what potential you have and what you're doing. And I always think of this, you have not because you ask not. 7 verse 7, seek and you shall find. Come on, y'all. We, I'm telling you, it's out there, and you might be one person away from exploding everything you have right now, but you have not spoken to that person. You could be one deal away, one person opening your mouth to that particular person that can help you get to the next stage, the next level. For every level, there's another devil. I'm going to tell y'all, you will not do this by yourself. It's not going to happen. So when you can get off your high horse, Drop the ego by the door and humble yourself and say, okay, what do I need to do to move forward? And that's all we want to do in life, literally, is move forward. So I look at it like this. If you're in your corner by yourself and allowing nobody to help you, you haven't unlocked your full potential. We have so many people that have so much talent, but we fail to use it. Why is that? Why is it that so many people have all these ideas and I, I can say this for my great idea, great idea, I didn't act on it. So I, the way I look at things, God gave the idea to somebody else, the opportunity to somebody else, and they acted on it. And then I look at it like, I don't believe that just took place. I don't believe that just happened. They took my idea. No, no, it wasn't, it wasn't my idea because I didn't act on it. That's how I look at everything. So we forget that everything starts with our mental. Everything starts with the mind. And you can't be prepared without it. So everything when I do, my business, my real estate, my nonprofit, all that stuff right there, when I teach people, I want people to understand it starts in the mind. If you're not going to understand the mind piece, you won't get to the money. So that's why I say let the money find you. A lot of people out there chasing this money for some ungodly reason. It doesn't work that way, family. You have to attract it. You have to do the things to where it's coming back to you. It's being attracting to you because of what you're doing. So mindset first. It's always mindset. So those who take it serious actually can grow their business. Those that don't, I say good luck. And I know everybody wants it fast. That's just how society is set up. We got the fast food out there. Well, how fast will you get it to me? Everything is fast, 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 fast. Let the money find you. Stop chasing it. There is no shortage of money. Keep saying that to yourself. There's no shortage of money. What happens is we only limit our interactions that we have with the right people, and we follow the wrong people that can't get us to the journey because they haven't been on the journey that we're on. And some people talk a good game about the journey that they're on right now to get you to that situation, but they can't do it because they haven't totally been there. I see people all over social media, I'm going to show you how to make a million dollars. If you haven't made a million, you can't show somebody how to do it. I'm just being honest. What you do is change what happens, and I'm going to give you all some steps as well. I'm not going to give you all this and not give you any steps to get you to the next level. And this is my guarantee I put out there for everybody. If you do what I tell you to do, I guarantee you it's going to shock you and it's going to shock your business or shock whatever it is you're doing, whatever you have your mind set on, it's going to shock you and be like, oh, my goodness, why don't I do it a little bit longer because it happened to me and it happened to a few other people that I know. So change only happens with a simple decision. That right there will change your life. I get this all the time. People from the, you know, the real estate, the nonprofit, the writing the books, the motivational speaking, hey, I'm going to try to do that. That's what I get. That's what I hear. And for me, that to me says, uh, you're going to try, huh? That means you're really not going to commit to doing it. So when I give you all the information at the end of this, if you're not going to commit to doing it, it won't work. I guarantee you it won't work. This is how I look at the word try. I imagine myself on a plane 
30,000 feet up in the air. We have engine trouble, and the pilot comes over the system and says, hey, y'all, we're having some engine trouble. Everybody sit back in your seat. You know, I got this. I'm going to try to land this plane. And in the back of my mind, like everybody else's, hold on, what you mean you're going to try? I need you to do better than that, pilot. I need you to land this plane. I need him to come over the system and tell everybody, I'm about to land this plane. Y'all sit back in your seats. I got this. This is all me today. This is what I train for. This is what I do. No need to worry. That's what we want everybody to have. So stop. I say work at trying. (laughs) Work at working on stopping saying the word try. I work at that so hard. It's, it's, it's hard because sometimes I catch myself and I go back and they say, uh, another example, somebody has an event. Hey, are you going to make it to my event? Well, I'm going to try to make it. We all know what that means. Come on now. Now, if you had some money there for them, oh, oh, I'm going to be there. Hey, you count, count your money. I'm going to be there. That's the difference between try or will or committing because you have to change the way you speak. Words have meaning, family. Everything we say has meaning. If you don't believe it's going to happen, you are 100% true or correct that it's not going to happen because we are such negative people. We're so negative that everything we think of, stuff we think of that's negative, we don't want to have happen. Then when it happens to us, we're pissed off. But we thought that into, you know, fruition, like, I don't want this to happen. I don't want this to happen. And now it happens. Why? Why is that? So that means what you'll do is you have to spend a few hours on a few hours on everything that you're working towards, your your goals or whatever that is. So some are waiting on a sign, and some are waiting for everything to be perfect. But Because I don't know, there's so many different types of people that's on the call. You want to do businesses. You want to, you know, get a raise. You want to whatever it is you want to do. Let me give this one to you, and, and I post it on social media. We sit on million-dollar talents to make $17 an hour. And we get excited to get a 50-cent raise, and they actually pay us just enough so we can forget our dreams. I'm going to say that again, and I'm going to mix it up. We sit on million-dollar talents to make $17 an hour, and we get excited to make a 50-cent raise, and they actually pay us just enough so we can forget our dreams. That is crazy. Some people have some ideas, but they're waiting. They're waiting for the perfect time to do whatever it is that perfect thing is. I don't have a clue. From the road, and that's when they quit. I've seen so many people quit, and I've had so many people think that I quit. I've had people say, hey, Charles, I, I thought, uh, when did you start back doing real estate? I said, well, when did I stop? Just because I'm not posting it on social media or I don't talk about it 24 hours a day doesn't mean I quit. I had another lady say, Charles, what happened to that book you were writing? Oh, I, that book, I did that last year. What are you talking about? I'm a best-selling author because of that book. What are you talking about? Oh, I didn't know it came out yet. Yep, I just, what you need to do in life and everything is just keep going. Boom, boom, boom. Everybody don't have to know your every move. Let them keep guessing for all I care because some people, they don't want you to get ahead anyway. They want you to do good but just not as good as them. I all know those people are out there. That's not me. I'm not the only one that knows this. You just keep them at a distance. You can love people from a distance, and that's okay. That's okay. So let me ask everybody this question. Please, please, please name me one person that's successful who quit when the time got hard. (laughs) You can't do it. Stop quitting when it gets tough because let me give you all this one. It's always going to be tough. You're always going to want to give up. And there's no difference between, you know, being successful and not being successful that the unsuccessful people gave up. That's the only thing. No one wants to be a failure, and no one wants to give up. And then the sad part is you something that you that you wanted, and you go back to doing something that you didn't really want to do. We always want somebody to do One person stands up. We look around like, should I stand up? Even in church, you, you got people going down there. One person has to take the step first before everybody starts getting up and, you know, going down there to the altar, wherever they're going. If, if somebody always has to be first, even clapping, well, I don't know if I should clap. Well, I'm a, when one person starts clapping, everybody else takes it on as well. 
so I, I got a good one for y'all. Take that guy, LeVar Ball, and if you don't know him, he has these basketball sneakers coming out for close to $500. And everybody is hitting that guy upside the head, and he is sticking strong, and he's saying, well, this is my vision, this is for my family, I'm doing it. And a lot of people dogging him out because he's choosing, you know, he's choosing to do it the way he want to do it. He's doing it in a, uh, in a way that most people may not approve, but he's still doing it for his family, and he hasn't backed down. So my thing is this. I'm going to strip everything of how he's doing it. I'm looking at what this guy is doing. He's putting out a shoe for $500 that people are think is insane, but he's still doing it. It is what it is. He has a different approach, but he's doing it, and he's doing it for his family. Now, I do know uh, he's made like $157,000. So what? But let me give it to you all this way. Let's talk numbers. I'm a numbers guy. When you look at across America, you got the majority, and that's the great majority across America, are making less than $50,000 a year. He made $157,000 in 24-hour period. And some people would take three years to make what he made in a 24-hour period. So a lot of people are missing the bigger picture. A lot of people don't have anything saved. That's just us as a group of people, of Americans. We have less than $1,000 discretionary income to do anything as far as emergencies or what have you with. We don't. We have those ideas, but we're scared of the ridicule that we're going to get in new. Whenever this goes through, he's going to be the first, if it ever goes through, to do this type of shoe deal that he's doing. Not to go into the shoe deal. It's, to me, it's not even about the deal. It's being first at doing something sticking to your guns and putting a product out there that people have already purchased and taking a ridicule and, and making moves with it. So my thing, when you look at all of us, we're so entertained by entertainers. We're on the sideline, people rooting for their favorite teams. Basketball season is upon us. Everybody's talking to LeBron James and who's doing what and who's doing and why are they doing this and why didn't he call timeout. We're so engrossed into their lives that we forgot about our own. Janet Jackson just came out with a video. Everybody's talking about it. She just said she's going to start her tour back up. Everybody's excited, talking about her life and everything like that. They're going to be sitting in the seats at the concert, vibing, vibing to Janet. Oh, pleasure principle, let's get it. Same drive that you have for the LeBron and the Beyonce and the Jay-Z and the Janet and all these different people when are you going to put that into you? What are you doing right now that's going to forever change how people see you? What are you doing right now that will leave a legacy for your kids? Your job, I don't care if you have letters before or after your name, you can't leave that to your kids because they still have to go through school and everything like that, especially if you don't own the company. If you don't own the company, you're not leaving a legacy like that. It's not going to happen. Are people ever going to be talking about what you're doing? Why not? We're so engrossed into people that's doing something as an entertainer. There's two types of people, family. People that work hard and go after what they want, and you can call it successful and unsuccessful. Successful doesn't mean you made millions and millions and millions of dollars. Everybody determines their own level of success. That's just me personally. Some will make it happen. Some won't. No pity party. You can't sugarcoat this thing, and there's no shortcuts to this. You have to go through the pain like everybody else. You got to go through people laughing at you like everybody else, especially if you out to do something great. I guarantee you the people around you, even the ones with your last name, are going to tell you it won't work. You won't lose sleep. You have to be disciplined. And I'm going to tell you this one, embrace the suck. (laughs) That's the best I can put it. Embrace the suck because it's going to for a reason. Because most people don't want to get off their asset to make anything happen for themselves. Most people don't want to get off their assets to make anything happen for themselves. We don't look at the end goal. Most of us look at all the nonsense we have to go through to get to the goal, and it won't be easy, but I can guarantee you all this. It will be worth it. It will be worth it. I, I, I'm going to tell you all this. I just spoke to a lady right before I got on this call, and I'm definitely putting this lady on. Oh, my goodness. She was I only met her for like 10 minutes. 
and she shocked the mess out of me. She was calling me about some help on uh, real estate and stuff like that. And she said, Charles, you know, I've been through the struggle. I had nothing before, blah, 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 and I'm working my way up. And she said, I don't even have my own home. She said, but I'm on my fifth home. She's renting homes out, and she don't even own a home. And her story, I'm not going to give it to you, but I cannot wait because she came up through nothing and made it work. She said she didn't make excuses. She just had to make it work because she had nowhere else to go. And for everybody out there that's listening right now, I don't care what you have or what you don't have. You could have nowhere to go, but if you have drive, if you want it bad enough, I'm going to give you all some steps at the end of this. If you want it bad enough, it will work for you. I will guarantee it. It will work for you. This is the thing that happened to me. I wanted it to happen now, now, now. He's not going to give you any more territory until you use up what you already have. I wasn't using it. I was not working to my full potential. I wasn't doing it. And he was not giving it to me the way I wanted it. He's going to give it to you when you're ready. And a lot of us are not ready. A lot of us want to watch TV. If I ask, everywhere I go when I do seminars, I say, you know, what's your favorite show? People throw out all this stuff, empire, power. I'm like, okay, great. Okay, now let's talk about your bank account. Let's talk about your future of your kids or your generation that you're going to keep. You know, how does that look? And if it doesn't look right, why are you watching them build an empire on TV, but you don't have an empire that you're working on? And a lot of people don't want to hear this. I'm just telling you all what I know. That's the thing. We have to stop making excuses as to why we don't have something and go after it. That's all we can do. So we bring in everything we have to bear on to get from level A to level B. Blaming people. Stop blaming your grandparents, your parents, your friends, your loved ones, your kids. If I, if I didn't have kids at this age, stop it. You're done. Stop that. All you're doing is stopping yourself from getting from A to B, from B to C. That's all you're doing. You have 24 hours. What are you doing with it? I don't care if you work a nine to five. After that nine to five, now what? Now what are you going to do? You're going to hang out. You're going to watch TV. You know, you're going to cook a little bit, clean a little bit, go to sleep, and then do it all over again, and you waste the time. You're not being a professional in your life. You are the CEO of everything you have right now. Stop being an employee in your own life. If you're not working towards your own goals, you're being an employee. I just read something today, Warren Buffett. He put it out. Y'all better go look at it. He said in the year 2030, there will be 40% less jobs out there. J-O-B, jumping out of bed, just over broke, juggling over bills, however you want to call it, because they control your fate. So what he was saying is get to a point to where you can control something in your world. Because if you can get tapped on the shoulder, like a friend of mine, I just saw he's working for 12 years, and he got tapped on the shoulder, and he don't, all of a sudden he's out of a job now, he's looking for a job right now, and he was not prepared for it. And I'm literally like, wow. He's like, I don't even know what happened. Well, he put himself in that situation because he had no, you know, you got to put yourself in a position to where you can at least win. If you're doing everything for your company, I applaud you. I'm not, I'm not saying quit your jobs and all that kind of stuff. I'm saying work your company, but work your own business as well. You have to, have to, have to start a business. I don't care who you are. I'm going to get a business guy on here, too, and he's going to break down how to start a business from scratch. You've been doing it for over 20 years. So I'm gonna, he's gonna, And the thing is this. This is what I want to have happen. I want you to keep more of your money. Employee, as a W-2 employee, you're not keeping your money. You're giving it back to the government. You may get a little bonus check at the end of the year, but you're still giving your money back only because of how the tax codes are written. The tax codes are not written for employees. They're written for business owners because business owners spur the economy. So we have somebody new in office, a whole administration. Do you think they're going to do a lot of cuts on businesses, or you think they're going to add more value so businesses can make more money? Come on, y'all. It's not a secret. It's not a secret. It's definitely not a secret. I will guarantee you it's going to happen. So let me tell you how you start. You just start now. Start here. Start today. That's where you start. 
You got you have to forget what everybody else is doing because not many people are going to want to help you, especially when you're down and out. Please believe that one. You're on your own. <laughs> so how my life is set up, I don't have to have, have anyone. I don't have anyone out there that will cash me out to say, well, Charles, if you ever need anything, just call me up. You know, we'll we'll help you out, buddy. I don't I don't have that. And I know a lot of people don't have that. You know, can you call up somebody right now and say, hey, can you give me, loan me $1,000? That's not happening. It's not going to happen. And then this is what you're going to get. I dare you all to try. <laughs> try it with about five people. And this is, I'm going to tell you what you're going to get for you get it. Oh, $1,000. Well, what you need it for? The first thing, uh, why are they going to ask what you need it for? Nine times out of ten, they're not going to give it to you anyway because nine times out of ten, they don't have it. So it's like, well, you know, well, our, uh, I would give it to you, but I had to do X, Y, and Z. So you can do one or two things. You can start working on your business so you can get it, or you can change your circle so you have some people in your circle that can give it to you. If the people that I know, if I go to them asking for $1,000, they know something is going on. If I'm asking for $1,000, something is going on. There are no secrets, family. It's those that know and those that don't know. So let me ask you all the question. What does freedom look like to you? Freedom to me means you can do what you want, when you want, because you want, and that's it. You do it because, dot, 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 because, dot, dot, dot. No asking for permission, and the great majority will not find freedom in this lifetime. Forget the money. I don't, and it's not even care about the money. The money will come if you work for it. Goal is to have money and time overlap, but I'd rather have time being the best thing you can get back because you can always make more money. I don't care where you are right now. You can be negative, whatever. You can always make more money because there is no shortage of money. Freedom. How bad do you want it? So what are you working on in your life? This is the thing you have to do. You have to do these things. Because our mind is set up in such a way that our mind searches for answers. That's what we do. And I'll give you a quick example. I don't know if you are looking to get a car, if you're looking to get an outfit, some shoes, what have you. But when you start focusing in on that, you start seeing it more. Be like, hey, I was going to get that new that new Lexus, but now everybody got that Lexus. That's because you you know you you focus that on that. What are you working on in your life? Have you found anybody that can help you, anybody that to be an expert in that field? And have you reached out to them or are you just going to do it later because you got to watch a TV show? Is there someone, I don't care if it's social media or YouTube, that you can follow? Not saying you can reach out to them, but what I do in my world, I go to the top of that industry. I don't care which industry I'm in, writing, it can be book writing, you go to the top of that industry and find somebody that's an expert and follow what they do. My thing is, forget the trip to Miami, forget the trip to uh, freaking Vegas, forget the trip to Italy and, and overseas, forget all those trips. Take a trip to go see. Try to cut me out, but you know that's not going to happen. It's always going to be something. Like I say, for every level, there's another devil. No big deal. So I say, take the money that you're going to spend on your lavish vacation and spend that on you. Spend that on going to see somebody that can help you out. That's the goal. You have to get the help. If you don't get the right help from the experts, I don't know what else I can tell you. So the the things I'm going to give you to do. If you want to get there, and I'll tell you why, if you want to get there to the next level, cut off the dog on TV. (laughs) Cut off the radio. Cut off the TV. Just give it two weeks. Give it two weeks to cut off the TV and the radio. So what I did, and I'm going to give it to you, I wouldn't give you anything I didn't do myself. I I was working in corporate, and uh, I was giving my story to these guys, 
you know, they're multimillionaires. There was two of them. And I gave them my story, and they said, I'm going to tell you all what I told them just because you all on the line, and I have a captive audience. So I gave them my story, and the story I gave them was, hey, I just got back from uh, – I was in Vegas. And I spent $5,000 in four days. And the other thing that happened is I have nothing to show for it. I've been traveling the country. I was over in Italy. I was traveling to Germany. I went to Switzerland. I went to a lot of different places. I was having a lot of fun. And I had nothing to show for it. But I was in corporate, making six figures, have another side business as well. So, for me, money was no thing. I've always been able to make money. And they, I told them that story, and they looked at me like, and I'm going to tell you exactly what they said to me. They said, Charles, what the heck are you doing? And I said, what? And they said, the way and what you're doing, what you're doing, you're going to end up working another 35 years. I said, ooh. They said, do you want my help? I said, yeah, you know, give me what you got. So they was like, we're millionaires. He said, I'm a millionaire a couple times over. I have a house in, he have a house up in uh, Chicago. He got one down in Florida. He got one in California. He said, I don't do what you do. I don't even do, and I'm a millionaire. I don't do what you do. So when he told me that, it, I, you know, it, it, I res- it resonated with me. But he said, let me give you something to help you out. He said, you see the LeBrons on TV. You're watching them. You're rooting them on because I'm a big, huge basketball fan. Oh, my goodness. So he said, you're rooting them on. He said, LeBron already has his million. And then he said something that i never forget. He said, when are you going to get yours? And he stopped. And I didn't have an answer. I didn't have an answer. So what would you say to that, y'all? If if I asked you, you know, who are you watching on TV? I don't care if it's Empire. They're making nice money doing what they're doing. I'm probably a hundred, couple hundred thousand, what have you. They have money. When are you going to get yours? I didn't have an answer. So he told me that anything I need to know, if it was important, that I'd find it probably on social media because I should be on there marketing anyway. He told me to cut the TV off. He told me to cut the radio off. He told me to get some CDs that are motivational that can help me to keep focus on what I was doing and what I needed to do. And this was right during the playoffs and almost like right now, you know, right during the playoffs. And I'm just like, you can't be, you got to be kidding me. So my thing is this, I'm in corporate America. I love my job. I truly, truly love my job. I used to do ballistic missile defense, protecting the United States of America, and I really love my job. Worked for a great company. Uh, They really took care of me. Uh, The downfall of me working, I would do experimentation. Here we do our experimentation. I had to go. We sitting at desk at that point in time when we're not doing experiments. So I was in a cube, and that cube life was the death of me. I couldn't do that. I don't see how people can do that. That's not my life. I can't do it. I understand I can't do it. So my, I had to find an exit strategy. I was like this, I, and I, I talked to the guy in my queue. Literally, I can reach my hand out, and I can, you know, we can touch hands. That's how close we were in, in the queue. And I was like, man, how long you been here? He said, man, I've been here for 10 years, same queue. I said, you got to be kidding me. How in the, oh, my goodness. And so we're sitting there just talking about it. So I started at that point in time devising a plan to get out of literally the queue. You know, and I used to have to uh, ask for permission to do different things. And it just, you know, it wasn't my cup of tea. So once I found out, a different ways or things that I needed to do, and somebody was willing to give me information so I can be better, 
I made a decision, and I committed to the decision. I committed to what they gave me to doing, to not watching TV for two weeks, to not just listening to anything on the radio. I get educated in my car. You can get a degree in your car from the time you leave home to the time you get to work. Some people are on the road for 30, 45 minutes to an hour. Imagine all the training you can get from just being in your vehicle. So when I say let the money find you, this is the way you let the money find you. Most of us haven't found ourselves. Most of us have ideas, we have dreams, we have hopes, we have goals, but we spend too much time watching TV. And I'll tell you why, eight hours of sleep, eight hours of work. It's 24 hours in a day, family. You got another eight hours, four hours out of that time, we're messing around doing much of nothing. That's what we're doing. We're doing much of nothing. So you have to take the time and take it serious, plot it out. It has to be written. If it's not written down, it's not going to happen. I can guarantee you that one. It's definitely not going to happen. So I took them up on their on their thing, and it took me about a year and a half from once they gave me the information for me to make my move. And this is what happened. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is what happened in my journey. So as I'm actually exiting stage left, my contract was ending. And where I worked, they was like, uh, are you going to put in another contract? And I didn't have it in my heart to do it. I just, it was, my entrepreneurial spirit was telling me I couldn't do it because I couldn't concentrate at work. I couldn't do it. And so time goes by, time goes by. I think three months then went by, maybe even four. And then I let my contract expire. And I walked in to my boss, signed my paperwork, my closing out, in a sense. And he said, uh, so what are you going to do? I said, well, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. And he actually laughed. He said, I guess we're going to be working for you. And this was 14 September 2012 to this day. I have not worked for anybody but me, anybody but me. And I will tell you, this is the best feeling ever. Ah, I'm not sugarcoating this for nobody. I would tell y'all on Sundays, I used to be so pissed off because I had to go to work on Monday. People get mad on Monday. It's not Monday. Leave Monday alone. It's not Monday. It's what you have to do on your Monday. I had a great day today. And I love, for me, this is how I look at life. And y'all can look at it the same way because this is what happens. You look at social media, on Friday, everybody is so excited. Everybody is excited because I made it to the weekend. My thought process is this. If you love the weekend that much, why don't you do everything in your power so you can make your every day your weekend? Does that make sense, fam? Make your every day your weekend. But it's not going to be easy. You're going to go through the fight. You're going to have to struggle. You're going to have to do some stuff that you don't want to do. You're going to have to lose some sleep. You're going to have to stop being scared. My thing is this. What if I quit? My boss laughed at me. My friends laughed at me. My mom thought I was crazy. My sister was like, what the mess are you doing? Who leaves a six-figure income? Let's be for real. Who does that? I would say uh, less than 96% of America make less than $100,000 a year. Less than 96% of America. Nobody leaves six feet. Well, some people do. (laughs) Some people do. So the one thing I tell y'all is you have to set a plan, and I look at it as reverse engineering what you have to do. Reverse engineering or you have the end goal in mind and work backwards and detail your time out. Seriously, write it out. What are you going to do from 6 to 7, from 7 to 8, from 8 to 9? Be, be meticulous. Stop going to bed at 10 at night. That's only if you're hungry. That, you know, if you're hungry, don't go to bed at 10 at night. I saw somebody post today. Uh, it had to be like uh, 2 p.m. She said, who's up grinding for their for their you know, for their hopes and dreams right now. And I said, it sounds good, but how about 
You know, you ask that same question at 2 a.m. Who's up grinding now? Because a lot of people now, you know, I speak across the country, and, you know, people that I know, they charge you so lucky. And I'm not bragging. I don't have time for that. That's not what I do. I'm a humble guy. But I'm not bragging about what I do. I say that. That's all I can give you. So who's up grinding at 3 in the morning? Who was up with me at 3 in the morning? So they say I'm lucky. No, no. I bust my behind to get where I am right now. And I'm still not where I want to be. But I'm further than I was. That's all. I'm further than I was. And my goal is to pull as many people as possible along the journey. And your journey doesn't have to be mine. I don't want your journey to be mine. I want it to be wherever you want it to be. People say, well, what do you do? No, it's not about me. It's about you. How are you going to get there, and what are you willing to do to get there? It sounds good on paper, and we can talk about it, but are you going to grind and go get it? Because if you're not going to grind and go get it, then, you know, what good is it? What good is it? Wait one second. I'm trying to make sure I have the right amount of time because I know the uh, the phone call clicked off. So uh, let me give you all some steps. Step one, turn off the TV. Step two, turn off the radio. Step three, find a mentor, even if you have to find them on YouTube. Step four, write down your goals and where you want to be. Reverse engineer it. I mean, if you want to make – you can put down the, a number. The more details you have, the better it is. Don't put down no bull crap. You know, I want to be done working by, by 2018. What does that mean? That means nothing. That, that means totally nothing. You have to detail it. How are you going to get this? What do you mean done working? What does that mean? Everybody talk about retiring, and I don't, that's a bunch of bull crap, family. Stop talking about retiring. That means nothing, absolutely nothing. Nobody really just retires. We transition. Let me keep it that way. I, I transition from working in corporate America to working for myself. And sometimes working for myself is harder than working in corporate America. Will I do it again in corporate? Yes. Yeah. Would I leave? No, no, I will never work there. But will I do it again as far as leaving corporate? Yes, I will. I will leave that every day, all day, and twice on Sunday to work for me. Because if I can put if I can make them millions, why can't I make myself millions? You know what I'm saying? We don't want to work harder for ourselves. We make excuses. And for those people who want to work for somebody else, hand claps to you. God bless you. I'm not mad at you. I don't really care who you work for. I say do, do what floats your boat. You can work for somebody for 50 years for all I care. It doesn't matter to me. I say have fun doing whatever you do. If you have fun doing it and you're happy, God bless you. If you want to work for yourself, you're going to have to put the work in. And it's not going to be easy. You definitely going to have to put the work in. It's not going to be easy. So the other things I'm going to go over, uh, a few more things. I can't wait to get this lady on, this guy on, as far as uh, so they can uh, put out their information. I ask questions to myself. Know where you want to go. Know who's going with you. Know who you can count on. Know who you got to count out. Do you have a blueprint? Unemployment is coming, family. There will be a crash in the market, the stock market and the housing market. Technology is going to play a major role in what we do or don't do. Believe that. Believe that. Don't think that whatever you're doing, if you're not looking at a strategy right now to, to get more, if, and, and ask yourself this question no matter where you are, if you were to get let go from your job right now, how long can you survive? How long are you going to survive? And don't play yourself. You know, don't don't say, well, I've got about a year because don't play yourself. Don't do that. Look at it in a logical standpoint from all the money you're putting out right now, and if that goes to zero, what happens? People still ask me to this day, you know, is what you're doing working? I haven't worked since 2012 for the company, and now it's 2017. So this September 14th, I'll be five years in. Five years in, and I'm throwing a get-up. You know, I'm just going to be I'm, – I'm excited for me 
because of how hard it was, you know, the obstacles I had to go through, and I'm still fighting right now to get what I really want to get. It's going to be explosive, but I'm doing it because I know it works, and I'm doing it because I know I can help a lot of people because I've already been through the fire. Now I can tell you where to step and how to get there. If it's, if it's in my skill set, meaning I became a best-selling author, the real estate uh, side of things, the doing the nonprofits, because I have one with the homeless veterans and the motivational speaking, that's where I can show people. I stay in my lane. I'm not going to show you anything that a lawyer can do. That's not what I do. I'm not going to show you anything about taxes. That's not what I do. I understand those things. I don't do those things as an expert. So there's a difference between understanding and know the route to take and guide you to where you need to go to get the right information, and that's where we need to be. Get the right information from the right people. My name is Charles McCutcheon. I am your favorite entrepreneur. I'm going to leave you all with this. My email address is charlesmspeaks, that's C-H-A-R-L-E-S, the letter M. Speaks is S-P-E-A-K-S at yahoo.com. I do, do, do want to thank everybody for getting on this call. I do want to thank Miss Kimmy Robinson as well out there in Missouri in the St. Louis area and doing Elation Magazine, Elation Radio, and soon to be Elation TV. She's doing some big things. I'm just trying to get her her bootstraps and, and strap in and keep moving with uh, this movement that's going on. Uh, across the country, truthfully. This is literally across the country. So I gave you all my email address, charlesandspeaks at yahoo.com. I'm going to do a quick prayer, and then we're going to end this. But I do thank everybody for getting on. I will be getting on that lady. I mean, she is phenomenal. I'm going to get her on and talk about her journey from nothing to something. And now she's about to have five homes. Are you kidding me? And I'm going to get on the business guy as well. He's going to break down business 101. And that's where we need to be. We need to make sure that we can keep what we have. It's not how much money you have, family. Forget the six figures. It's overrated. It's how much you can keep from what you have. That's where we need to be. So in prayer, Father God, thank you for allowing me to bless the people. Thank you for those who got on the call and for those who couldn't make it. We honor you, and we know everything begins and ends with you. See to those who are going through the struggle and continue to bless the many. In your name we pray. Amen. God bless y'all, Charles's Corner. Yeah. K Webb. We got the messenger. School. God Squad. What up, Great? Yeah. Hey, check this out. Yeah. Hey, I got favor. I got favor. Yes, I got favor. Yes, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. God Squad. Yes, I got favor. God Squad. Hey, I got favor. Yes. Hey, I got favor. Yes. Forget a hater. Forget a hater. Cause I got favor, hey, I got favor, yes, I got favor, hey, I got favor, hey, I got favor, yes, I got favor, yes, I got favor, hey, I got favor, yes, I got favor, God squad, yes, I got favor, God squad, forget a hater, who's squad, cause I got favor, God squad, hey, I got favor, live the life of sin, I thank God that I'm alive, guns drawn at me at 16, I didn't die, people thought I'd be in jail, cause I used to steal, but I never been to jail, I'ma keep it real. Yes, Lord. Jesus turned my life around and he let me know. Let me know. If you keep sinning, man, in hell is where you finna go. go. Then he gave me a wife and a family. Get, 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 get. Tons of blessings, now I'm stunting on the enemy. Son. I live for Christ, I ain't perfect, I ain't hurting. Tell the devil I'm with Jesus, cause I know me out here searching. Man, I'm working on the beat. For the Lord, you know I'm wildin'. And as long as Jesus with me, I'ma always keep on smiling. Hey, I got favor, I got favor, yes, I got favor, yes, I got favor. Hey, I got favor, God, yes, I got favor, God, hey, I got favor, yes, I got favor, yes, I got favor. God, hey, I got favor. Yes, hey, I got favor. yes get a hater, get a hater. Cause I got favor, Cause I got favor. Hey, I got favor, hey, I got favor. Yes, I got favor, hey, I got favor. Hey, I got favor, hey, I got favor. Yes, I got favor, yes, I got favor. Hey, I got favor, God squad. Yes, I got favor, God squad. Go get a hater, who squad? Cause I got favor, God squad. Hey, I got favor. Walk through the storm. 
search for my spirit child Pushed by the wrongs, persuaded by material Sunday it was church, Monday back to thugging Tuesday on the block, Wednesday I was lusting Thursday chased girls, Friday played how Thirty I was sipping, your boy was wildin' out He's bringing out the best now, I'm poking out my chest now Some by this name, no lie, feeling fresh now These spiritual weights got me strong in the word I'm drunk in the gospel, the reason I swerve My picture was blurry, so my father repainted My soul was dirty, tossed it up, it reclaimed Hey, I got favor, I got favor Yes, I got favor, yes, I got favor Hey, I got favor Yes, I got favor. Cosquad. Hey, I got favor. Yes, fuck. Hey, I got favor. Yes, fuck. Forget a hater. Forget a hater. Cause I got favor. Cause I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Yes, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Yes, I got favor. Yes, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Cosquad. Yes, I got favor. Cosquad. Forget a hater. Put no logic to it. You ain't gotta put no signs to it or no bastard to it. In the natural, when the spirit moving, I love my God. Got me walking straight with my head high, and I ain't never been no sun guy. Got two kids and a blessed wife. God cooks his favorite punch, and I'm all in. Got room, wanna serve a bunch. Don't walk off, filled up. Never knew it was there. Now you stand up with your hands up. That's when that hand touch and the glory of God drop in about the flood up. Everybody put a praise up, cause I'ma do it within. You got a heartbeat, stand up. Love. This world can't tame us when we know the deal You stressing, sitting, guessing if the love is real My favor ain't determined by my shining will God is all I know, I know it is here Hey, I got favor, I got favor Yes, I got favor, yes, I got favor Hey, I got favor, God squad Yes, I got favor, God squad Hey, I got favor, yes, fuck Hey, I got favor, yes, fuck Forget a hater, forget a hater Cause I got favor, cause I got favor Hey, I got favor, hey, I got favor Yes, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. Yes, I got favor. Yes, I got favor. Hey, I got favor. God, what? Yes, I got favor. God, what? Forget a hater. Who's what? 